Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 80109, Lunar New Year Ice Festival from the LEGO Chinese New Year theme. This set contains 1,519 pieces, 13 minifigures, and retails for $119.99 in the US. This set was sent to me by the LEGO Group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. So here is the build of the Lunar New Year Ice Festival. You can see, of course, it's this giant ice skating rink, and this is one of the prettiest terrain pieces I have ever seen from LEGO. The set is absolutely massive, so if you don't have a ton of shelf space, it's probably not the best set for you. But in terms of just sheer looks and just like room to play and everything, it is fantastic. So let's go through every bit of it. The ice skating rink itself is located up a little bit on a little tiny snowbank. So if you want to incorporate this into a LEGO City setup or something, you do have to be aware that it does go up a bit. But you can see there's this really nice staircase right here to transition from more of a city setting. There's these two little bush builds with white and green flowers. I think these look amazing. I would love to see more builds like this in the future and for them to be used more than two places in the set. They fit really well though here to like top off the sides of the staircase. Moving down the right side you can see there's this ice sculpture of a penguin. This I believe is a penguin mold that originated in Lego Friends and it's just a little bit strange to see that in a system set now it's used in a very different context so I think it still works here. But there is like an actual penguin in this set and it's a bit strange that they don't use the same mold. But I get this is supposed to be a more cartoonish representation of a penguin, while the other one's supposed to be an actual penguin in the LEGO world. So I think it still works here. I just find it interesting that they went with the Friends one instead of the System one. Regardless though, really cool recolor for that part and very happy to get just like an ice sculpture of an animal. I think that's super fun. And it would probably work pretty well as a Patronus for LEGO Harry Potter too if you wanted to use it for that purpose. Then on the back you have one of these attractions where people can stick their faces through and it looks like they're wearing a different outfit. You can see here there's there's like a tiger suit and then I guess a white tiger suit. And if we turn the entire build around, there's studs back here to actually stand two minifigures. And because of the heights of the holes in this piece, you can fit one adult sized minifigure and one child sized minifigure. And there you go, now you can see their faces are actually sticking through, which is very fun. That is just like a cardboard cutout piece. It's not something I see too often in LEGO. It's just like cardboard panels like this, so it feels a little out of place. However, I still think it works, and I don't think there's any way to do this brick built that would be better. And something cool that you also might have noticed is this can actually be flipped around to have like different mascots on it. You just have to take that back section off, which is not super easy, but it's also not difficult to do. It doesn't pop off naturally though. And then you can just lift this up, spin it around, place it back down and then attach the top back on. Oh, and then I guess you have to swap the places of the child and the adult. And there you go, now instead of people in tiger costumes, their faces are on actual tigers. Yeah, I think that's really fun, and having two options is nice. All around, very fun play feature. Moving back to the stairs though, and coming to the left instead, you can see there's a little bit of a fence out here, and you can see this entire snowbank is very detailed, like lots of different angles and curves. You can see there's some dark tan used here too. I think that provides some nice variety in all the white to show that there's like dirt and stone and stuff here too. Those also on the other side like by the penguin and everything, I just forgot to show it. But yeah, there's some dark red and brown fence pieces here. I like how they do the snow sort of falling down the fence, that's very cute. There's this little sign advertisement for the ice skating rink itself. This is actually a printed part which was very surprising. In fact, I believe every piece that you see in this set that has a graphic on it is printed, none of them are stickers, which is really nice genuinely and I would love to see more themes do that. Because the only other theme I can think of that does that is like a Minecraft. And Minecraft Minecraft definitely does not have nearly as many parts as this set. So it just makes the entire thing feel a lot higher quality and makes for a much more fun building experience. So I really like that. And the print itself is really good. You can see it's a woman skating with what I assume is probably her child. It's got the temperature and then I guess a weather warning. And then right next to that you have this old lamppost with this really cool design on it that again is printed and that's used in six different places in this set. There's a few lights coming down and then and then just uses the Fabuland lamp pieces in black. The build's reversible too so it looks good on both sides. And you'll see two more street lamps later on that are done in a similar style. Behind that we have a tiny little hill right here. This is where you can have a character ski if you want. Then you have this tree which I think looks absolutely beautiful with like these snowy leaves at the top and the normal leaves at the bottom. Really like captures the feel of the winter season. And then behind that you have a tiny little fishing hole which I guess is supposed to access the water underneath the frozen lake. There's a seat right here for a minifigure to sit. And you can see with the fisherman minifigure in this set you can actually make it look like he's catching a fish out of the fishing hole. Which is a really fun touch. However, if you're not the biggest fan of the fishing hole, you can use this piece right here. You pick it up, you can actually place it inside to cover the fishing hole up, which can be used as an alternate display option or just something for play. You cover it up when you're not using it, you take it off when you are using it. And I think that's a really great option. Behind the tree in the fishing hole, we have another set of stairs. This is, I guess, another place where the ice skating rink connects to the outside world. So that's another place where you can incorporate a, like, a path from a Lego city. They just have a bit of texturing down here and that goes up to a minifigure plate up here. On the side of those, you have what I assume are meant to be vending machines or some sort of cooler or ice box because you can open them up, and there's three drinks inside each. The first is like this sparkly blue one with this green cab. That blue is a really cool color. I don't believe it's used too much like outside of Lego Friends and Lego Dots and whatnot. So I personally have not gotten that piece too much. 
but it is a super cool color and works really well here for like a drink. Then there's a teal one with a yellow cap, and then there's a red one with a brown cap. You get two of each of these drinks, one of each on each level, so there is plenty for all the minifigures that come in this set. Beside that, you have two skis which just sort of lay against this building right here. Kind of wish those were connected in some way because they very easily just fall out on the ground. You could obviously remove them and put them on a minifigure, but yeah, I just don't think that's the best method of storing them, but it's still very cool that you get skis at all. And then we have this building in the very back left corner. You can see there's another new printed part at the top of the door right there. Looks like it shows the minifigures just going for an adventure in the snow. That is super cute. I absolutely love that. The design of the texture of the roof is really good too. I especially love these little roller skates right here. Those look really good placed like that. And then like the snow dripping off the roof as well. Reminds me a lot of the Temple of Celebrations, the uh, 10th anniversary Ninjago Christmas set that we got last year done in a very similar style. There's a little ad hanging off the side with an ice skate on it. That once again is a printed part. If anybody wants to translate the Chinese, please do in the comments. But I unfortunately am not able to myself. And then of course the big yellow door at the front can swing open. Luckily though the store is open from the side for easy access. And it's quite small in here but they managed to pack a lot in. You can see there's a trophy and a chalice at the top, a little cash register right there. There's one more of those sparkly blue drinks. I'm not sure exactly what this device is supposed to be so let me know in the comments if you know. It looks vaguely familiar, but I can't put my finger on anything. But I know you guys, you can make fun of me in the comments for not knowing what it is, so feel free. <laughs> and then the store also has this little rack with eight ice skates as well as two hockey sticks. Now this is super cool to me. This might not seem like much, but there's pretty much ice skates for every minifigure that comes in this set. And this is something I would have absolutely adored as a kid. I kept track of every single accessory I had when I was little, and I would have loved to get even one pair of ice skates. But to have a set that comes with enough ice skates for so many different minifigures, I would have adored that. I would have put it on all my minifigures. And I think it's just amazing that it comes with so many, and that's not even the last of them. Because also, beneath the store, you can see there's this little ball joint right here. And if you pull it out, there's actually more accessories inside. You have another hockey stick, lots more ice skates, some ski poles, and I believe these are called snowshoes? Correct me in the comments though if I'm wrong on that. But, lot, but just lots of other winter-themed accessories to give to your minifigures. Now, I haven't counted exactly, but I believe with these ice skates and those ice skates and the ice skates that come on the actual minifigures, I believe there is enough ice skates for every single minifigure that comes in this set. And I just think that is genuinely awesome. But I'll put this away for now. Back outside the path, you can see there's more of that rocky path that we saw outside the penguin sculpture. There's a tiny little trash can built at the back, a little bench. And then there's another one, the street lamps, which has that same print at the very top. However, unlike the other lamp, it has these new printed trans red minifigure heads. And they have little tigers on them for the year of the tiger. And I think that's an absolutely incredible print. And you can see there's actually another identical one on the other side, right next to the photo booth. Then we come to the center where there's this giant ice sculpture. Now this is the main reason I wanted to get this set, just because I love ice themed things and I thought this entire build looked really beautiful. And yeah, now that I have it in hand, I still feel the same way. Just all the trans blue together looks incredible, and I really love just like the trans clear at the bottom too. I'm curious about this design at the center because like with the ears and everything, it kind of looks like a pig face. However, obviously this is the year of the tiger, not the year of the pig. So maybe I'm just missing something. Again, if anybody in the comments knows, feel free to let me know. But regardless of what it's supposed to be, it's a cool design. I guess, like, I don't know, what would you call this? An ice shrine? This, the entire sculpture just looks incredible. You can also see here's all the transclear pieces out the back to represent, like, ice that's all packed up. And then there's this transclear slide, which goes down into the actual ice skating rink. So now let's finally talk about what this build is all about, the actual ice skating rink. I love the design of the edges, like, all these different curves and, like, jagged bits. It just looks so uneven and asymmetrical. It feels very natural. And I think that's absolutely perfect because this is supposed to be a frozen over lake, not like an artificial ice skating rink. So funnily enough, I find it kind of perfect how imperfect everything is. And then the actual ice itself is very interesting. It uses a color that's not used anywhere else in this set. It's like this sparkly, whitish, bluish color. And I find that interesting, but honestly, it's probably my biggest criticism of this set. This color was also used in the Eternals sets last year. If you're a Marvel fan, you may know it from there, like on the Wings of the Deviants. And I believe it's been used in a few other places, like Ray and the Last Dragon. But they use it in abundance here, and my one issue with this color is in different lightings it looks different. Looking at the camera right now, it seems to be picking up sort of a bluish tint, which is what they're going for with the ice skating rink. But in certain other lightings, it'll have more of a yellow tint to it, and I think that really detracts from the build if you just have this in the wrong lighting. There is a bit of yellow somewhere in like the sparkly color, and I really wish LEGO did not use that. Because while it worked fine for things like the Deviants, yellow just doesn't really make sense at all for an ice skating rink. It should be a whitish blue, so I kind of wish they went with normal trans clear or just trans blue. Still though, it looks very cool, and in the right lighting, it does look like an excellent ice skating rink. It's just that lack of consistency I'm not the biggest fan of. You can see there's a few fish that are supposed to be 
be frozen in the lake or I guess swimming underneath the frozen lake. That's very funny. I like that those are there. And then at the very back you have a little cell phone which I guess somebody dropped before the uh, lake froze over. But, but other than that there's really not much to say. It's just a place to display all your figures and have them go skating. But it's massive and there's plenty of room here so you can fit pretty much every single one that comes in this set. Like these are just the ones that come with the ice skates already equipped and you can see there's lots more room for more figures left over. So that's about it for the main build of the ice skating rink. So now let's move on to the side builds then the minifigures and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. Here's the first side build in this set with this little cart that's supposed to be selling sweet potatoes. They use these like rock pieces to represent the sweet potatoes and I think that's an interesting choice. Definitely not the best looking that it could be. Definitely looks more like a rock than a sweet potato but it works well enough I think. And regardless of whether it's accurate or not, I think it's a really cool piece and you get quite a few in this set. So I'm a fan of it. And then the card itself is nothing all too special, but it looks good. You can see there's room for a minifigure to hold on to it. You have this little brake right here. And it's nice to have another way to get the bicycle or wheelchair wheels. And then the other side building this says this guy. I know people were joking that this looks like Perry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb. However, unfortunately, this is not a platypus. This is supposed to be a penguin. Because you can see it has little penguin feet out the back. So this is meant to be a little penguin sliding around on its belly. Or at least a little vehicle shaped like a penguin. Because there's studs on the inside for a minifigure to sit in. Because I believe the idea is this is for children who are too young to go in the ice skating rink themselves. So they'll be pushed around on this thing instead. And this is super cute. I absolutely love the design. And it's just a fun little character. Now moving to the minifigures. There are quite a few in this set. However, most of them are generic city type characters. I'm not going to spend super long on them. Here are the first three. And these three are actually wearing ice skates by default. I've removed the ice skates just to make them easier to show to you guys on camera. But they have ice skates separate from the ones that you've already seen. This guy comes with a hockey stick and a puck. So I think counting the other hockey sticks is a total of four hockey sticks in this set. So I guess you could play a 2v2 hockey game with the characters in this set. Again, it's so cool to get so many copies of the same accessory. He's got this red jacket, which I believe is also used in the Ninjago City Gardens for the mechanics thug. The face, I believe, originally came from Hidden Side. And the gray beanie is a nice touch. I believe it's like not a new part or anything, but it's one person I don't believe I've had before. Maybe I got it in the Ninjago City Gardens. I don't remember if this is the exact color it came in in that set, but it's a pretty good piece to get. The woman in the center is awfully generic. I don't have a ton to say about her. Black ponytail's nice, I guess, a more uncommon color for that part. And the face print is interesting, nothing too unique in my opinion, but it's alright. And then the torso is fairly generic and personally not one of my favorites. It's just like an exercise shirt. Then the older woman at the very end, I, I actually really like her torso. That blue, red, and white combination is really nice. She has Misako's face, which is interesting. Misako's face has been used for LEGO City figures for a while now. But I've always found it fascinating that they reuse it for LEGO City. And then her hairpiece is pretty much a generic old woman hairpiece. And you can see she's sitting in a chair. You're actually supposed to attach the ice skates to the bottom of that chair. And she skates around on the chair, which is a very funny concept except but I absolutely love it. It feels very Lego to me. Here's the full face prints with hair pieces removed. And here's back torso prints as well as alternate faces. Really love the alternate face on this guy with his scared face. I don't know if I said it yet, but yeah, I believe this face is from Hidden Side. This happy laughing face is honestly fantastic, much better than the front face. I feel like way more universally useful. And then Misako's face is Misako's face. Really like the back torso print here though. That jacket just looks good all around. Here are the next three figures. This guy seems to be somewhat of a worker. He's got like these overalls and whatnot on. They look good, but they're kind of just generic. I don't have a ton to say. His face print is a really good design, but I think his smile is a bit too wide. It's almost over-exaggerated, so I'm not the biggest fan of that one. And then the sleepy hat hairpiece is always nice to get, but it's definitely quite common nowadays. Back in like 2014 though, that hairpiece came in like one set, so it was very exciting to get it back then. The woman in the center actually has a very detailed torso with like this fanny pack and everything. I'm a pretty big fan of that. She's got an interesting expression on her face too. It's like an asymmetrical smile, which is something we don't see too often. It makes her feel more like a character and less like a minifigure, which is definitely a good thing. I really like this one overall. And then this guy on the side, I actually quite like his jacket piece. I like how it's opened up with the shirt showing underneath and then he's probably got the oldest lego hairpiece ever made but you know what but you know what don't fix what's not broken that's still a good hairpiece to this day and the face print with the mustache is really good i believe that was originally used for fred finley from the lego ninjago movie but it works really well as a custom face print for cole's dad too here they are with hair pieces removed and there's their lack of any back face print as well as back torso prints back torso print on this guy nothing all too interesting but i really like these two i think they're pretty well done here are the next three minifigures i believe this one's supposed to be the one that creates the ice sculptures and this is what she uses to do it I really like the ice cream cone piece here in bright green. I think that's a new color for that part. It's a really cool one. But other than that, I feel like, again, she feels pretty generic. Her hair piece is pretty good, and I like the freckles on her face. But the torso is one of the most boring ones in this set. It's just a high-vis vest. I'm pretty sure that's ripped straight out of LEGO City. Then we have the Ice Fisherman and, I guess, this child that's alongside him. They both have the same torso print with the Ice Planet logo on it. And they both look really good. I especially like the hat on the Ice Fisherman. That's a really cool part. 
I believe the part's been around for a while, but I think this is an all-new recolor for it. And there's a look at their face once the hats and hair removed. And there's their back closer prints as well as one alternate face. And you can see she's got like protective glasses on there. Then the next three figures, we have a young boy and two young girls. The young boy might have my favorite torso print in the set. I love that puffy jacket in the dark red. The blue looks so good on top of it. And the metallic zipper and everything. Yeah, it all just comes together really nicely. Other than that, though, it's pretty generic. Short legs, a really common hair piece. And I believe that face print's pretty common for children in like Lego City. And then the two girls are pretty good as well. Well, very similar face prints, actually so similar I thought it was the same face print, but no, it's actually not. Nice hair pieces on both of them, I especially like this hair piece, that was one of my favorite ones as a kid, and it's cool to see it still around nowadays, that like longer ponytail piece. And then this is one of the best modern Lego hair pieces in my opinion. But the green jacket with the teal gloves looks really good. And then this jacket too I believe originally came from Hidden Side. And it's been used like Bunky Kid and whatnot before. But still a really good part. And it's nice to get more colors for the short legs too. And then taking their hair pieces off and then turning them around. There's the back torso prints. I really like the shocked faces on these two. And then the laughing face is pretty good as well. The back torso prints are all pretty good. Yeah honestly these three figures are some of the best in this set. Like mostly just remixes of generic city parts. But still very well done. And then finally we have the tiger mascot guy as well as the Penguin. The Penguin isn't a minifigure, but he should still be reviewed here. Just like the first few minifigures I showed in the minifigure section of this review, the Tiger Guy also came with ice skates on his feet by default, so that brings us up to a total of four characters that are just wearing ice skates by default. But of course, again, I've removed them so you can stand up on this minifigure stand that I've got them on. I'm not a huge fan of the torso print, I kind of wish they went all out with the Tiger design. He's got some sort of shirt or something on top of like the tiger suit. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but the striped legs and like the tiger mask and everything look really good. Just yeah, I feel like that torso could be more interesting. And then the penguin is a penguin. He comes with a little backpack, which is very funny. But we've gotten penguins before and this one's no different. Still nice to get though, it's always fun to get that animal, especially if we don't have it yet. And then the tiger guy actually has a pretty good face print. Not a new one, but it's a pretty good one in my opinion. And there's how he looks at the back, you can see he's got a scared face, and then he also has a proper tiger tail attachment, which is a cool touch. And then you can see there's like a striped hood hanging down, a little paw print. Yeah, this guy's pretty good all around. In my opinion, he could be better, but he's still a very nice exclusive figure to get. And so, what are my overall thoughts on this set? I absolutely love this set. This set is adorable, it's a really nice looking build, and it feels complete. There's nothing about this set that feels like, oh, this is missing, that is missing, which is something I don't say about lighter sets that often. Normally, there's lots of room to be improved, even if they are great sets, but no, this one feels absolutely perfect. My one real criticism is the color they chose for the actual ice skating rink, but that's not a huge deal and can very easily be changed if you wanted to. But even still, that color's not bad if you have it in the right lighting. Great minifigure selection, great accessory selection. I think this is a fantastic set, both for play and for display. It's just an all-around great one, and I would recommend it. Do you need it? No, definitely not, but if it's something that interests you when you were thinking about getting it anyway, I would say go for it. Obviously, yeah, it's expensive, but it does justify that high price, and I really think you're getting a great product here. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do LEGO videos just like this one almost every day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!